18 third time as we welcome you back in here to Fox 2 News in the morning. A lot of you might be in the market for a new home in the new year. And Sarah Bernard, a real estate broker with Red, Key, Red Key Realty Leaders, is joining us again to give us a little insight on the housing market in 2024. So, Sarah, thank you for joining us yes, again. Thank you for having me. I love being here with you. Well, talking real estate. I know. Let's get right into it. A lot of people want a new home in the new year. Let's talk about what's better. Is it better to build a home from scratch or buy something that's already out there? Yeah, it just depends on your timeline and what you're looking for. And right now with inventory tight as it's been for a couple of years, people should always consider customizing building a custom home because there are new developments going up all over St. Louis. What are some of the custom home options available now? Yeah, so you know, people are looking for things that improve the functionality of the way they live. So we're seeing people giving up the bathtubs in the master bathroom and having larger showers, adding butler's pantries. We haven't seen those in a hundred years, so those are coming back. Oh. Appliances that are super fantastic, like coffee makers, you can have your cappuccino in your own home in the morning. Um, cup rinsers like you see in a restaurant to, to rinse cups efficiently, uh, hot water dispensers, things like that. How is evolving technology impacting new home construction in general? Yeah, it's really important. So we need to always be thinking about the future, thinking about where we're gonna be in a few years. So things like electric cars, building in the, the right technology in your garage for the future, even if you don't have an electric car right now. Smart home technology, smart thermostats, Alexa compatible homes, things mm -hmm. like that are, are really popular right now in custom homes. And how do timelines work right now for building and also yeah. financing a new home? Yeah, so building, Typically, you can assume nine to 12 months on average for a subdivision type um, development, sometimes a little bit longer. If you're just gonna build buy a lot and start from scratch, it may take longer, and especially if you have a larger home that you're going to put on that lot. Financing is interesting with a new home. So similar to buying an, exi buying an existing home, you want to get pre-approved. You're going to need a loan commitment within a couple of weeks of signing a contract for building a home. And you're still gonna need that down payment up front at the beginning. So three to 5%, sometimes as much as 10%. So average about nine months to build a home, which works for some people if, you're, if you don't need a home right now and you wanna plan ahead, it could be perfect. Is it still competitive in terms of giving an offer on a house and actually getting the offer. It's it's totally different in building a custom home. It's not competitive mm -hmm. like like you may not you're not going to necessarily be competing with several people for that same home. If you go into a new subdivision, there may be many many lots available and you just choose your lot and there you're not necessarily competing at all. Got it. What about builder warranties? What do buyers need to know about yeah, that? So when you build a new home, and that's a great, that is a, a benefit of a new home, is typically your maintenance costs for the first few, few years are going to be much lower than a standard home. But builders typically uh, warranty the home for about a year. And then appliances, things like your hot water heater, your HVAC system, those are also going to be warrantied by the manufacturer for a year. You need to check with your builder on things like the foundation, the structure, is that included in their warranty or not? But that's just a conversation you have at the beginning with, with the builder. Sarah Bernard, appreciate your insights as yeah. always. And if you missed anything in this segment and would like to watch it again, we'll post the full thing on our website, fox2now.com. We'll be right back.